Hi, I am Dr. Javad Parvizi, orthopedic surgeon at Rothman Institute at Jefferson. I am at the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons meeting in New Orleans, 2018. We've had a very productive year as usual. Numerous posters, presentations that our group collectively has presented. Probably one of the highest in the, uh, in the world in terms of our productivity. I have personally uh, presented on a few areas. The most important area of my interest is obviously infection following joint replacement. So I've given a few presentations on that topic. One specific area of infection that's really very hot right now and it's very important is genomics. The use of next generation sequencing to try to identify the organisms that cause infection in joint replacement. That's a major issue for us. Culture usually, the traditional microbiological culture isn't usually very effective, and that has received huge, huge uh, reception here. The other area that I am interested in is prevention of uh, blood clots or venous thromboembolism following joint replacement. We've been leading the effort for the past 10 years, really, to try to move away from the toxic, aggressive drugs that were given to our patient after joint replacement to something simple that works very well and is effective, namely low-dose aspirin. And we have really uh, uh, published numerous articles, but convinced the orthopedic community that that's the best thing for the patients which of course not only reduces the complications after joint replacement in the form of uh, hematoma formation, etc., it reduces cost, it's more convenient for the patients, uh, etc. So now over 85% of orthopedic surgeons around the world, uh, around the US, excuse me, that uh, do joint replacement. Uh, our patients now don't have to be subjected to those twice a day injections with low molecular heparin or being given a drug that required multiple blood tests to monitor the anticoagulation and sometimes those anticoagulations were too aggressive would result in bleeding episodes and these patients would have to be taken back to the operating room to evacuate the uh, blood uh, and then, unfortunately, some of these patients would end up developing infection as a result of uh, hematoma formation. So it's simplified the lives of our patients, it's made this process safer and more effective, and of course, for the healthcare and for the society overall, it has reduced the cost immensely.